Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Cobra Genesis Atomizer, which I received from www.alba-vapors.co.uk. Before I start though, I must point out I did receive it free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion of product remains true, honest, and accurate as always. Okay, let's go straight ahead and show you in a bit more detail. Okay, so the Cobra comes in a really nice little presentation box. And if you lift up the lid, inside you're going to find the actual Cobra Genesis Atomizer. Also included is two meters of 0.20 gauge Canfield wire, a couple of squares of the stainless steel mesh, uh, two bags which have some spare O-rings and a rather oversized Allen key. Okay, let's go ahead then and show you the actual Cobra Atomizer. So I just want to quickly run through some of the main features of the Cobra. The top cap and the base section here are both made out of titanium and the rest of the atomizer is uh, made out of stainless steel with the exception of this brass centre pin which runs through uh, the centre of the Cobra. On the bottom you have a 510 connection with an adjustable centre pin. Uh, the tank is made out of Pyrex and it comes in either a 3mm version or a 5mm version and this particular one that they sent out is the 3mm version. On the top here you have a hole for your 510 drip tip and just about every drip tip that I've tried does fit in there though they're not an overly tight fit. Also on the top cap you'll find the air hole and the top cap is held in place by two o-rings rather than being a screw thread and this means it allows you to position the uh, air hole directly in front of the wick which will give you uh, the best performance with regards to vapour production. The top of the atomizer has plenty of options when it comes to uh, how you like to do your wicks. You have five holes in total. One is for like your filling holes so you can fill the tank up with your e-liquid. And the other ones can be used for single wicks, double wicks or even your wicks if that's what you like to do. And one feature I really like is this uh, sort of uh, centre pin here. It just makes it really nice and easy when it comes to uh, wrapping up your coils and uh, trapping the, uh, the wire at the top there. Okay, so the Cobra is a Genesis atomizer, and that means it's going to use a stainless steel mesh wick. Now, obviously, steel is going to conduct electricity, so it does mean you need to oxidise the mesh wick before you start to use it. Now, everybody has their own methods of doing that, and uh, you know I've covered that quite a few times in my past videos, so I'm not going to sort of go into those details now. Uh, so here is one that I've made. Well, I say made earlier, but it's actually about sort of six days old now. Uh, I've been using it in the uh, in the Cobra for that time. It's looking a little bit beaten up, but hopefully it should still be okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then is uh, get the Cobra set up, wrap a coil, and then fill the tank up with some e-liquid. So the first thing I've done was remove the filling hole screw, and I leave this screw out all the time because I find the extra airflow really helps with the wicking process. Also remove this screw here because I'm going to use this hole for inserting the stainless steel mesh. So I'm just going to drop that down the hole now. Okay, so I've just cut myself some of the 0.20 gauge cam to the wire. I'm just going to hold it against the side of the cobra underneath my thumb. Stretch it across and right underneath that little Allen screw there. Hold it in place, take the Allen key and just uh, tighten it up. Okay, so now this end of the wire is trapped underneath that little Allen screw. You can start wrapping my coils around the wick. I'm just going to finish it off by uh, trapping the other end of the wire in between that little gap and then just uh, tighten it up to hold it in place. And once that's trapped, you can just uh, adjust the coils to make them look a little bit nicer. Make sure they're nice and evenly spaced, and you should be good to go. Now, to remove all the excess wire, you can use a pair of uh, cutters or scissors, but personally, I prefer to just uh, apply a bit of tension, twist it around in a circle, and it should uh, cut off nice and clean.
Right, so what I'm going to do now then is attach it to my uh, probe battery, just so I can uh, check out the resistance of the coil, and obviously just make sure they're all going to fire up correctly. And it is reading at 1.3 ohms, and if I fire this up now, hopefully they should all light up nice and evenly, which they do. Okay, so all I need to do now then is uh, fill up the tank with some e-liquid. Okay, so I filled up the tank with some 18 milligram strength tobacco flavored e-liquid. And as you can hopefully see, the capillary action is working nicely and the stainless steel mesh wick is all nice and wet there. So when I press the button, I should hopefully get uh, plenty of vapor. Which will do. Okay, so all I need to do now then is add the top cap. Now when I'm adding the top cap, I'm gonna make sure that little air hole is directly in front of the coil and that way it will give me the uh, best vapor deduction. That's about right there. And then just add the drip tip. And that's it, it's all ready to go. Okay, so that is the Cobra Genesis Atomizer. Let's go ahead and see what it vapes like. Okay, so that is the Cobra Atomizer. And what I'll do now is go ahead and show you an action. So I've got a tank filled up with some 18 milligram strength tobacco flavored e-liquid. And it's just a PG based e-liquid. The coil is reading 1.3 ohms, and I've currently got the Mini Pro Vary set at 3.4 volts. As you can see, like, vapor-wise, you know, you're getting plenty of vapor out of it. And I was quite surprised at that, because the, uh, the air hole on this atomizer is pretty small compared to other sort of Genesis atomizers. And uh, basically, like the bigger the air hole, the more air is gonna pass over the coil. The more air that passes over the coil, the more vapor you're gonna get. So even though it has got you know, a pretty small air hole, you are still getting plenty of vapor. Also, because of that sort of small air hole, it makes the drawer a little bit sort of tighter compared to other sort of Genesis atomizers. And uh, it's got a really nice drawer and it, it's sort of like perfect for me. Also, if you prefer to have a very sort of airy drawer, you may find it, uh, you know, Needs a little bit of getting used to, but for me personally, the uh, the draw in it is just a really nice one. The uh, throat hit wise, and they get a nice sort of stronger thump in the back of my throat. You have to bear in mind though that the uh, like the amount of vapor you're going to get, the strength of the throw hit, etc., etc., will be sort of quite dependent on your own sort of personal setup with regards to uh, what resistance you've made the coil at what sort of e-liquid you're using, whether it's a PG liquid or a VG liquid, what sort of voltage you're vaping at, etc., etc. But you know, with the setup I've got here, getting a plenty of vapor, plenty of throw hit. Uh, with regards to uh, the flavor, I'm getting a plenty of flavor out of it. Pretty much the same as like any other sort of Genesis style atomizer. And it really does all come down to a uh, know how well the uh, the mesh has been oxidized to make sure that all your coils are firing up you've not got any sort of short circuits if you do get a genesis atomizer and you find that it's got a, meta a like, metallic taste that's the word then uh, it's a uh, guarantee that it's down to uh, basically the mesh not being oxidized you've got like a short circuit there and so not all your coils are firing up you're getting like little hot spots so just make sure your mesh is all very nicely oxidized if you are getting hot spots, you can sometimes get around it by just sort of giving your little coils a little bit of a nudge, just to sort of move it away from the very tiny unoxidized area. And as soon as they're all firing up properly, you're gonna see a, a really big difference in the flavor. And, and, and really is like a difference between sort of night and day. If you've got a short circuit there, you're just getting very sort of full on metallic flavor. If you haven't got a short circuit, you're just getting full on flavor of the e-liquid. Um, it's not a great deal else I can really sort of tell you about it. For me, it's a very nice atomizer. I really like the fact that it's made out of titanium. It's something uh, a little bit different. I don't think I've got anything that's uh, made out of titanium. The finish of it looks very nice indeed. All the machining is very good. The threads are very nice and smooth. Everything's you know fits together sort of perfectly really. Slight negative would be that it is pretty long really, and this is just a three mil tank, so. You know, I just to think how long the uh, the five mil tank would be. 
Uh, for me, I definitely uh, the better choice for me personally anyway is the shorter three mil version. Because otherwise, I think it's just going to be sort of way too long. But literally, that is probably the only sort of slight negative I've got with, uh, got with it. The rest of it, you know, with like a, like I said, it's just a very nice atomizer. If you do fancy trying one of these out for yourself, go along to www.albert-vapors.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers guys, happy vaping. See you later.